Yo, it is good, yo, it's your boy Ty back here with another video, and in this video today, we're going to be doing a gameplay of the new Galaxy Opal, Jamal Crawford. Now, here's the deal. I might not be the highest on Jamal coming into this video, but he's basically 15,000. So, as far as budget point guards concerned, is Jamal Crawford going to be one of the best? Maybe, and that's what we are going to be focusing on. Now, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, make sure to smash that subscribe button for consistent everyday my team content as we are on the road to that 100,000 mark. Jamal Crawford here, 6'5", 185 pounds, 93 three ball, 85 driving deck, 98 ball handle. Only a 70 block, does come with an 80 interior, 89 steel, 93 perimeter, 97 speed, two ball acceleration, as well as that 94 lateral quickness. Tendency wise, decent enough for Jamal Crawford, 22 out of famers, catch and shoot. Ankle breaker, hyperdrive, pickpocket, pick dodger, clamps, quick chain, limitless range, handles for days, quick first step, space grader, stop and go and pluck, with sniper, fast twitch, 37 on goal with interceptor, intimidator, chef, I just saw a lot of playmaking badges, some defensive badges in there as well. Now, not to say Jamal needs any badges, but if you really want to make him the best, rim, chase down, brick wall is what I recommend. Jamal Crawford's player build in 2K is never good. Now, he's 6'5". But I will say he doesn't feel 6'5", and he never has in 2K. He feels like 6'3", more so than a guy like 6'5", and it makes a difference because a guy like Dwayne Wade is going to feel larger or bigger than a guy like Jamal Crawford. His size up is fine for Jamal as far as movement in, in the half court. It's all fine. I do wish he had quick dribble style, but he can still move a little bit. Normal leaner is what he does have. But his release is only on quick, right? If he had Trey Burke base on very quick, probably would be higher on the card. Uh, again, just going into this gameplay. But I'm still optimistic that I can make Jamal work for his specific price. And as far as fun card to use, fun cards to use in my team, Jamal has got to be up there, guys. I mean, the last Jamal Crawford card we had, I tried making him work on the no money spent. It just ultimately came to an end. But as far as this Jamal Crawford... I'm optimistic that for his price, he can be worth it. Let's check out the driving dunk. We know he's got the Scotty behind the back. Still unsure about Jamal Crawford, but I will say this. Trey Burke base on quick is still a good release. Looking at Jamal Crawford here in Chiron again. Shifty dribble style is okay. I think he's going to be better on current gen than next gen. That's just my prediction, okay? I like his release a little bit more on current gen. I feel like he moves better a little, more, a little bit better on current gen. That's just kind of me, though. I mean, you guys might think on next gen he's just as good, if not better. But I personally think he moves better on current gen. Now, again, I do wish he had the Trey Burke base on very quick. It's only on quick, which objectively is still a fine release. Not great, but not horrible, in my opinion. Now, I will say this. Because he has that skinny player model, similar to Josh Giddy, the Scotty behind the back feels better for players with skinny player builds. So... I don't know what I'm going to make of Jamal Crawford, and that's why I'm doing a gameplay with him, because I, I really don't know how to rate him for his price. He is only 15k, which I'll give, obviously. I, hey, he's a budget card, so I'll give all the, you know, all the benefit of the doubt to Jamal Crawford. I need wins in my team Unlimited, and I'm not sure about Jamal Crawford in Unlimited. That's where I'm taking it. I will say this to start off the video, that my opponent doesn't have a very good team, but that's perfect for Jamal Crawford, so I can see... How he can move, what he really gets into. Okay, Jamal. Chill. I just, even on leaners, guys, the release feels so slow. And you guys might be like, okay, Ty, but it's it's a leaner. It's not that big of a deal. Well, it is. Because a guy like Jamal Crawford, he's going to need green. everything to be perfect to play. There it is for Jamal Crawford, leaning in that corner. For an easy green right there. I think I've seen it all, man. Easy one for Jamal. That's the thing, though, with the Scotty behind the back that I think can keep Jamal relevant. And that's my fault, man. I'm throwing a game. Oh, yeah, Jamal. Leonard Green. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Jamal. That's not you. That's definitely not you right there, chill.
Lena Green. Oh my gosh. I'm starting to get the hang of this fade with Jamal Crawford, and right now I'm three or four on all the fades. I'm really three or three in my last three. Stop hacking me. That's green. Stop hacking me, man. I don't like getting hacked, but Jamal knocks down another one. He's got five threes in this game this far. Y'all want to get killed by a screen? Uh-oh, he got badge, though. Uh-oh is right. Uh-oh is right. Y'all gave Jamal Crawford a badge. That is a mistake. He getting tough buckets, and I'm over here with Jamal getting the easiest buckets in the world. It's one of those things. Chill out, man. Set those feet, Jamal. And get those puppies in order for Jamal Crawford. Thank you. Thank you, board. Somebody got to get a board. Thank you. Why not? Why not share the wealth? Get Luka Doncic involved with a green. It's great defense. Come on, man. I, I just don't get it. What is, what is your goal here? I missed it. I knew I early did too. That's my fault. You are seven foot six, man. One of those things for Jamal, though. You either got to step up and allow the bailout, or you got to just sit back and let me green. It's, it's a tough it's a tough proposition. You, I can't even sit here and say you made the wrong read, because it's really not. It's just you gave one up. Front fade? Oh, it didn't allow me to shoot it. And after the first quarter, my opponent had had enough of Jamal Croft. Jamal got us an unlimited win, but we're not done with him. I want to see what he is like and how to compare him to a guy like D'Angelo Russell. So we are going to hop right into a game of Triple Threat Online with this squad. Come here, Luca. You think Luca can guard Jamal? Fun answer. Krabby Patty! You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a fun, a fun answer. Quick stop. Oh my gosh, Jamal. You're just doing too much right now. He should have shot it, and now he's boxed that he didn't shoot it. Ah, that's my fault. Thank you. I was going to say he should be tired, right? You're. Oh my gosh, Jamal Crawford is doing all of this to I disrupt you. I don't know who this dude is. I'm disrupting you, though. Jamal, he's sitting on Luca right now. Look at this defense. Look at this performance. Look at this performance by Jamal Cropper. This is the impressive part. I mean, come on, man. You got to give up fools for me. To, like, come on, man. He just out here dogging you. He out here dogging you. The only way you're getting a stop is if he shoots a fool. And that's crazy. What up, Jamal? Oh, my gosh. Whew. I really went for it. After I saw I stunned the first guy, I went for it. The problem was they just switched. I'm gonna I'm I'm try to get saucy with Jamal though, since I got a little bit of a lead. But if you can dribble, I feel like this card definitely gonna be fun to use. Somebody better get this guy a map. Somebody better get this guy a map, because Jamal Crawford looks like he's got it all figured out right now. Look at the defense he's playing. It's one thing to have a Jamal Crawford that offensively is gifted. But look at what he's doing on this end of the court, man. That's where I'm really impressed. Forget offense, man. Forget offense for a second. Midi. Midi. Midi work. Midi work. Midi work for Mr. Jamal. He got 16 points in the game. I got to stop doing that dribble move because I'm not even trying to. Oh, my gosh, Jamal. You're too much. You're too much. I missed it. Back to him. You're not missing two in a row. That's the crazy part. Jamal Crawford is too much on this game. Like, I'm doing wrong dribble moves left and right because I hardly even know how to. Oh, my gosh. I thought I had it. I thought I had it. I thought I had it.
Come you're not even coming up and guarding him. You're just sitting middle. Oh, that's, that's cool. Jamal Crawford. Super fun to use. Ultimately, guys, Jamal Crawford definitely did impress me. And when you compare him to a guy like D'Angelo Russell, who I think is a decent comp, is a decent comp, D'Angelo Russell's player model is better. The big thing, though, is D'Angelo Russell is more expensive. So, I mean, when it comes down to it, maybe he's not. Maybe they're about the same price. But when it comes down to it, they're both 6'5". Jamal is going to have, you know, probably the better dribbling, I would say. D'Angelo is going to have better defense. I mean, they're pretty, I would say, similar. I think D'Angelo Russell is the better card. Jamal Crawford is just more fun to use. Depends really what Jamal Crawford's price settles for. If he does settle for, uh, let's say, like 10,000 MT, it's going to be tough to beat him for that price. It's just simply that simple. But I had fun using him, especially if you play Clutch Time, Triple Threat Online. I think that's where Jamal can be the most useful. It's going to wrap it up for my video, though, today, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.